Hey guys, I'm Brett, the Nerdy Engineer. I just got the 8.0 update on my Tesla Model X, so I wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of all the new features. It's very similar to the Model S. So the two updates that are different on the Model X are that the Falcon Wing doors now open and close faster. I'm not sure exactly how much faster they are. I haven't timed it. I feel like it's noticeable, but I'll go ahead and time that for you guys and include that in the video. And also, if you have auto, the auto front door turned on, if it auto opens and you close it, the door won't reopen itself again until after the key fob has left the area. That way, some owners have had problems where they're putting their kids in the car and the door keeps opening and closing. So that's supposed to be fixed on this update. After the first accident with autopilot, Tesla has gone back to their radar vendor and gotten new drivers for the radar, which allowed them to do a lot of neat things. They can now bounce the radar signals underneath the car in front of you and around vehicles and see a lot more of the cars on the road and track them. So you can see it's actually seeing two cars right now. The icons changed a little bit with the 8.0 update. The speed limit is now in the circle, or the speed, if you were to set cruise control, is now inside a circle. And I'll pull back once to set cruise control, so now it's a little bit more vibrant. Uh, stands out a little bit more, got that blue circle with the speed in there. And then I'll pull this two more times to do the auto steer. And now you, you can see that the icon for auto steer is blue and it highlights blue it stands out a lot more that you actually have it engaged if you sometimes if you try to do it and it doesn't engage it'll flash orange so this is the first level of the warning the whole outline is flashing white it's getting faster and faster now it's starting to beep at me. Right. I had to stop it. There's a car behind me, but it Autopilot was slowing down and disengaging. I don't believe it actually put the flashers on, but uh, it, it did slow down and start disengaging. I assume that's warning one. Oh. Yep. It will not let me, because I took it that far, it will not let me re-engage autopilot. I'm going to try taking this exit. We'll see if autopilot actually takes the exit like it's supposed to. Nope. It was not taking the exit. Uh, I don't know if the new update for interchanges is supposed to work on exits also, or if I just kind of have that in my head. But it doesn't appear to be working on exits. I haven't gotten autopilot to work on the interchanges like it's supposed to. It seems like if there's two lanes that turn and you try to do that, it just ends up changing lanes. It doesn't stay in that lane and just, if your lane forks, just take that side of the fork. It'll actually try to change lanes. So it's not really working the way I believe it's supposed to. Other than autopilot, the biggest update seems to be to the Maps app and to the Music Player app. Uh, I'll start with the Maps app. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of great stuff here. Uh, one of the coolest features, I think, is when you're away from home, you can swipe down on the Navigate button and it'll automatically route you back to your home. So that, that's pretty nice. It saves you a couple steps. Cancel that. Another cool feature is if you tap the charger icon, it'll zoom out and show you all the chargers in the area. Uh, it shows you the superchargers as red and the destination chargers as gray. So 
makes it pretty quick and easy to see all the chargers in a, a region. Uh, that way if you're trip planning or something, uh, you can do it directly on here. However, I, I'm still going to use EV Trip Planner and PlugShare to do most of my trip planning. Uh, those apps are must-have apps for anyone with an electric vehicle. Uh, they're phenomenal. With the revamped map app, now when you navigate to a destination, it'll stay zoomed out a lot longer. It, Tesla said it was supposed to stay until you start driving, but sometimes, yeah, like right there, it goes ahead and zooms in. One of the other cool features with the new map is when you're driving, all the icons on the top of the screen disappear. So it gives you a little bit more room to see, and you can just tap the screen and they show back up. Tap it again, and they go away. So the map's the only app that does that right now. Uh, pretty nice little feature, and it only does it when the map's on the top of the screen. So as I get on the interstate, the map's gonna now zoom out. It's supposed to zoom out. There we go. I think it kind of zooms out a little too far. I'd prefer it to be zoomed in a, a little bit more. I don't know if it's something that has the settings where if I zoom in now, next time it'll zoom in a little further. Or if they zoom out and zoom in are hard set. The music player has been completely revamped. Uh, the user interface has completely changed. And now we've got these different options along the top. Radio, streaming, tune in. And if your phone's connected through Bluetooth, um, you'll have your phone on there. You can also use USB. The search has also been improved. Another advancement is that you can name your, your trips now. So you can rename trip A and trip B. So I've got one ever since I had the car. And then 8.0 also improves your regen. So I decided to reset and start tracking that to see how my, uh, my energy consumption is doing with the new 8.0 update. Now most of these miles have been slow highway miles and that's part of the reason why it is so efficient, 272. However, as you can tell, I do drive like a grandma, and for the lifetime of the car, I'm averaging 312 watt hours per mile, which is quite a bit lower than what a lot of other people are averaging. I have a 90D with 20 inch rims, but 312 is pretty good for a lifetime, and I think that number is dropping. It used to be 318 or so, 320. One of the features that Elon Musk tweeted about is the new cabin overheat protection. This is designed so that when you turn your vehicle off, for up to 12 hours after you turn it off, the car will make sure it does not exceed 105 degrees inside. And that's to protect any small children or pets from overheating. Elon said that a Model S or Model X could run for something like 12 months uh, before for it ran out of battery with this cabin overheat protection. But right now, it'll stop at 20%. Once your battery drops below 20%, this feature won't kick on. But it's just a nice little safety feature that you can do with an electric vehicle that you can't really do with a gasoline vehicle. The voice commands on 8.0 have been improved. Now you don't have to press and hold the button the whole time you talk. Press it once, say your command, and then press it again to end your command. And even better than that, it'll actually transcribe what you're saying on the dash so you can make sure that it's actually catching what you're saying properly. So, Navigate home. Let's see how much faster these doors are. Not bad, I think it's a little bit faster. And on the close. It definitely feels faster closing than it used to.